It is October 6th. Um, Lauren is actually in town, my friend from Canada. Uh, she just got a croissant and uh, a quiche, so I'm gonna get her review of trying her first croissant in Paris, but we're taking her to the Arc first, and then we're going to a very French restaurant later tonight, but I'll get her review of the croissant. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to see her, and we're gonna go out um, tonight, maybe to like a bar or something, so maybe I'll film a couple of days clips of that but okay. yeah so lauren is trying her first croissant and what's the verdict delicious delicious <laughs> and crispy and she got what did you get jenna it's like a little like pizza thing pizza and then i got a chorizo baguette that is so delicious but so we just made it to the arc and that is lauren right there just taking pictures um yeah she's being a cute little tourist like she's trying to get a photo of the arc with no people in it but we're just sitting here in our baked goods. So oh, it is later in the day now. We just went out for drinks. <laughs> making fun of my vlogging. <laughs> no! Uh, Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so so really we're good. just um, <laughs> walking back and yeah. we're actually walking towards the arc right now. And we just had drinks at this place and this guy was what? seriously was like so... <laughs> this guy was seriously so drunk. He was walking up and down the street and actually stumbling over his steps and running into buildings and poles. And it was very entertaining to watch. But anyways, um... He dropped 10 cents, so I picked that up, but... <laughs> may he get home safely. Yeah, may he get home safely, but anyways. Um, yeah, we're just walking home. The girlies are here. <laughs> and, yeah. Okay, you guys, it is October 7th. We are at the Louvre. I'm showing... Well, me and Jen are showing Lauren the Louvre, and then we're going to go to the park and go out for dinner, but I wanted to do an outfit of the day because I haven't done one of those in a while, but I got this um, from Fritzia. These are Jenna's. I don't know where they're from. Maybe Arizona. Arizona. Um, I'm wearing my white New Balances, my new bag, and then again, this is from Jenna. I don't H &M. know. H&M. So anyways, okay, on yours. do you want to yours? You go, Jenna. You go. <laughs> I don't know where this is from. Okay, now Jenna is going to do her outfit of the day. This is from Lululemon. This is from Little Mountain. These are from Little Mountain, Vancouver. This is from Dynamite. These are from UGG. These are from a store in a mall in Paris that I don't know the name of. But anyways, yeah. we're gonna go to the park, so I'll show you clips of dinner and then maybe you <laughs> So Jenna got this. She asked for a coffee and she got a little espresso shot but with a kinder egg so I want to film her reaction eating it because I oh she put it in the thing I thought she was gonna eat it <laughs> no I put it in there oh, it's so sweet, sweet. I it? thought it was like cream maybe or I don't know but it's definitely know. not but a little anyways, baby spoon I love oh, this so cute sorry I'll show it like a proper youtuber oh yeah a proper youtuber there you go you guys can get all the details of the spoon but we're back at the IP whatever you say, however you say it, but. You guys, so it is October, you know what I'm October 11th. It's October 11th, and we're going to the Louvre to see the Mona Lisa. We all have not seen it yet. We've been here for over a month, almost two months, and we still have not seen it. So we're gonna go walk, see it. Hopefully there's no line, but maybe I'll film it a bit, but um, yeah. So I, we just arrived, and the line starts over there, or like ends over there on both sides and continues. I've never, we've been here over like 20 times. You tell and them, babe. I've you tell never them. seen the line like this ever. So I have no idea what's going on. Like, is it some sort of holiday we don't know about? Because seriously, the line is in, I've never, Are they doing crazy. some crazy. Sort of like, There's another line or something else. I don't know what is going on. This is so nuts. Oh my gosh, it's for that. Wow. 
great. We finally got in the polling store. Um, there was a line that like wrapped around, but very aesthetic in here. And Lauren's trying on the bag. She's super cute. So Lauren got a bag. She's happy with her purchase. And now we're just looking at this fountain that we came across and there's some people sitting. We're actually gonna be at lunch right now. Um, uh, at this noodle place, I think, for Udon. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys, but she's very happy with her purchase. Yay. It's like a crossbody slash like handhold bag. So, so we are on our way to a very famous street in Mantua, and we have this big hill to go. They are kind of hating me right now. Kind of? Kind of. Okay, I knew what was coming. She didn't, and you were lying to her. I was <laughs> like, Lauren, this is going to take more than 10 minutes. Um, yeah, but it's really cool. The surprise is going to be really cool. So we just got to this building behind me. Um, I've seen a lot of this on Instagram, actually, so I'm excited that I could finally show them. They're sitting down because they are very tired, but because um, we had to walk up a hill and then downhill. But it's actually funny. We used to live like all the way down there, and we walked all the way to the Bass Leak, which is up there. But um, yeah, very, very cute building. I think this is also a restaurant as well, but I don't know if it's like any good or not. But very, very cute, worth it. And there's another pink building over there. And Okay, we're going to see the Mona Lisa. It's October 16th. Here with Lauren, and this is what she wanted to do for her last day. So we're trying to do this huge line outside, but so it's like 4:45, and this is there's like a line to get in. So if you wanna, I'd probably get here early. We could not get tickets for earlier, but this is crazy. <laughs> waited an over an hour line and then you have to wait in another line just to take a picture up close of it but there it is so wild it's so small but um. Brittany is here and we're biking and so excited to go the bike okay here she comes her first bike ride <laughs> she's doing great it's October 19th this is Brittany's well, first is croissant. She got in Paris. Yeah, in Paris. That's right. It's not her first croissant ever. <laughs> but she got a chocolate croissant. Brittany, what's your verdict? It's pretty good. I wish there was more chocolate though in this. Mostly bread. Mm -hmm. More but chocolate. This is our favorite bakery. We come here all the time. It's in um, Mount Mantra has the best prices for croissants and the chocolate croissants which is we get right here delish hey guys it is october 19th we're just at giraffe right now with Brittany and jenna we tried to get food but actually um they don't let you share because we just woke up so we didn't want like too much but they don't let you share an entree and the waiter was kind of rude about it so honestly kind of an overrated restaurant to be honest but very pretty for the view like this is their that's the inside and then this is the balcony so i guess in the summer it's very pretty but honestly overrated and i would much um much rather go somewhere else yeah somewhere else and i would recommend honestly anywhere else because the the selection is mostly seafood so if you don't like seafood then definitely don't come here <laughs> um but yeah, kind of an overrated restaurant, but for pictures, very cute. And the coffee was good. So if you want to just order coffee, get your pictures just, like, and get out. Yeah, it was just weird. Like, yeah, the, the server, like, the server was, so was kind of rude and just snappy and yeah, really weird. But then there was a lovely man that helped us and he was really nice. But anyways, um, we're going to go get breakfast somewhere else. Now. Hey guys, so we're on the way to the luxury consignment store that I showed you guys probably like over a month ago, but we just went to Corette's, oh, yeah. which was just over there and then that was giraffe over there and um Caretz was so much better than giraffe um, i definitely recommend and i did like the 22 euro um one where you got a juice coffee or hot chocolate and then um like a bread thing and then another thing i forget oh a piece of toast 
so very, very worth it. I definitely recommend we it. We took Brittany onto the top of Galley Lafayette, and here she is. She was so surprised. But it's actually it turned out to be a nicer day. I think the rain is coming in, but um, it said it was supposed to rain today, but it's honestly perfect weather. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's perfect. It is October 20th. I'm sitting here with Brittany and we're, we just got the 1090 breakfast deal. So you get again, like a hot drink, a, your juice, and then a pastry item. And, and the we got- strawberry juice is the best. Yeah, it's really good. And I was actually able to get the croissant and pinot chocolate. So yeah, but we're, last time we were, me and Jenna were here, these machines were just making noises, but now they have lights and they're making noises and they're blowing smoke literally all over the place like it's not it's a little bit gloomy but it's definitely not smoky so i don't know what so they're doing a museum person that watches this or a petite person that watches this maybe they can yeah someone explain because i don't know what's going on and why this is like this i don't like it's so or like they're doing it again oh my. there they go oh no now it's spewing out like Foam. <laughs> like styrofoam. I don't know what's going on. Like these are probably the most, oh, most bizarre things I've ever seen. Bizarre. And people just take videos of it. So do people know what this is? Cause like it's literally soap. You can see it's like soapy. I wonder if the smoke will come more intense. I don't know what's going on. I'll film it when it starts smoking again, but it's just really bizarre. Okay, they're blowing the smoke again, but not nearly as much as what they were a couple of months ago. It's just so weird. Why do they have to have these huge boxes? It kind of ruins the vibe of this place, but so pretty. Okay, here they're blowing so much smoke, but again, not as much. Like before, it was like they're filling up the whole area. I don't really understand what vibe this creates because it just looks weird to be quite honest. It doesn't fit the vibe of this like cafe. It's so like classy, and then there's just smoke. Hey guys, so we're at the Museum de Ocheray, I think. I'll put the name in the Dorsey. Dorsey, there we go. Um, I hope I'm saying that right or she's saying that right, but if not, it's going to be in the clip um, linked, but definitely really worth it. We had to, for me, it was free because I'm a student, but she only had to pay 14 euros, which is not bad for a museum because the Louvre is 17 euros, I think, and it's really pretty and it's really well laid out and everything, and yeah, and it's very well laid out, and to get in, we only had to wait like, I don't know, max 15 minutes. It wasn't that bad. They're very efficient here, like the weight is not anything like the Louvre at all. The Louvre weight, I think I waited like an hour to get in. This I only waited like 15 minutes, it was super easy. It doesn't feel as overwhelming, so. Definitely highly recommend if you're coming to Paris, come to this museum over the Louvre. Cause you get to see Starry Night by Van Gogh as well. So, you know, it's either that or the Mona Lisa, right? Okay, so I searched up like what is worth it and that you can't miss in this museum and this was one of them and it is very cool. It's very smooth and I, it's called the polar bear. Um, it's really cool. I would definitely have this in my house. This is really cool. But yeah, this is apparently one of the things you can't miss along with um, Starry Night, of course, but, which was really cool to see. I'll insert the picture I got of it. So we're on our way to see the Basilique. Brittany is tired. <laughs> We've walked up this hill. This seems like a reoccurrence whenever I bring people to Mount Mantra. Um, Lauren said the same thing. She was tired, but she did it. <clears throat> and Brittany's doing it too. But yes, there's lots of hills. So if you're coming here, be prepared. I mean, this is the highest point in Paris. <laughs> so yeah, but we just ate as well. So that doesn't really help. But anyways, we're on our way. Hey guys, so we made it to the top. I think she thinks it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Um, it's stunning today. 
the, it's been raining kind of off and on, but more so sunny this afternoon. So it's so gorgeous. It should be a nice sunset. Okay, so um, we're sitting here at and they ask you questions about what you want in a drink and then they make it for you. And we have our beautiful water here, as Jenna would call it, and we're all just getting beautifuler by drinking it. Um, and I'll show you guys our drinks when we get them, but the inside looks really cool. Um, and they come around with iPads and ask you like, which alcohol you want, like how sweet you want it, and more alcohol forward or not. But um, yeah, super cool concept. Uh, I will show you guys our drinks when we get them. Okay, so they brought us our drinks. Um, Jenna originally had a duck on hers, and she was not happy, so she asked for a flower. Like, it looks I a lot better. For a pretty drink, and she gave you yeah. one with a duck. Yeah, I mean, that's mine right there. It looks so pretty. It almost looks like a lotus flower. And then this is Brittany's, and then that's Jenna's. Jenna's looks interesting. It's a, a very big ice cube. As you can see at the top, that's the start of the ice cube, and then it goes all the way down to the bottom. So. I don't know, it will see the verdict. Okay, you guys, so we've had a couple of sips, and yeah, so she got a duck on hers, and then we asked for this flower. I already said that in the last clip, but what do you guys think of your drinks? Give us your reviews. Mine's pretty, like, plain. It just tastes like bot or uh, tequila and, like, simple syrup. Honestly, it kind of tasted a little bit gross, but... Um, it I don't was, mind it looked the tequila okay. flavor, but like it was like it was strong. Yeah, it, I, I asked for like um, when she asked the questions, I was like, oh, like something like refreshing and like good, but that doesn't taste like alcohol. It, and it definitely tastes, tastes like, like alcohol. alcohol. Okay, what about you? Mine is pretty good actually. I really like mine. Okay. I also do like Jenna. I loved mine. Mine tasted like super sweet and like a can and it was delish so I don't know if I recommend this place but you know it was good for what it is so I didn't make an outro, but this is Brittany again seeing the Eiffel Tower for the first time, Sparkle. But thanks for watching this week's vlog, you guys. I had so much fun entertaining Brittany and Lauren.